look at the external anatomy, the chicken wing. In the skin, you'll see yellow spongy tissue underneath skin and its pathy tissue. And the pad stored beneath the skin and it's called subcontinuous pad. The skin is connected to the muscle by silvery fiber. And this is connective tissue that connects skin to muscle. These pink tissues are the muscles and we're going to focus at muscle in the lower wing. So this is the flexor muscle and you can see that the both ends of the muscle are connected to the bone. And this is the extensor muscle. When the muscle contracts, the wings move on the other way. This is the flexor muscle because when it contracts, the angle between upper wing and lower wing decreases. Muscles usually exist in pairs, a flexor and the extensor. Tendons connect muscle to bone and can see at each end of the muscle. Tendons bands of shiny white connective tissues that are very strong and inelastic. So I'll try to pull it to see how strong tendon is. Blood vessels look like thin red tubes and can be found between muscles. Veins or arteries is the blood vessel we can see. So let's push the blood vessel and let's see the blood coming out of it. For us to see the bones, I needed to remove the muscles. So here is the bone. The chicken wing's bone is homologous with human arm, means the bone structure of chicken wing is very similar to human anatomy. Humerus, same to our upper arm. Two bones in the lower ring, the radius and ulna, same bones to our forearm. And last, wing tip, the metacarpals and phalanges are fused together. Bones connected to each other by ligament. Ligaments are similar to tendons because they're both strong bands of connective tissue. The difference is ligaments connect bone to bone and bit more elastic than tendons, so it can stretch while the bone moves. Cartilage is a smooth, slippery white connective tissue that cups the inner bone and cushions them. It reduces friction and allows the bones to move smoothly against each other. Bone is a very hard tissue made up of a framework of protein and mineral calcium to keep the framework hard and strong. It's a living growing connective tissue, has its own blood vessels and breaks down old tissue and creates new tissue. A 
I'm going to crack a bone open to see the bone marrow. Inside the bone marrow is a spongy red tissue and produces red blood cells, also white blood cells. The soft spongy tissue has many blood vessels and is found in the center of the most bones. There are two types of bone marrow, red and yellow. Red bone marrow contains blood stem cells that can become red blood cells, white blood cells, or platelets. Yellow bone marrow is made mostly of fat and contains stem cells that can become cartilage, fat, or bone cells. The absence of bone marrow can be fatal since it's an essential part of our body. And it's the end of the chicken wing dissection. Thank you for watching.